we are going to be applying a very realistic blur to this background and make it look like it was shot with a very expensive lens. But before we do that, we have to separate the subject from the background. So you duplicate the background layer, then you select the subject. The easiest way is to use select subject. So if you are using any recent version of Photoshop, you should see this option of select subject. Come down and add a layer max. Now the subject to be selected from the background with this layer max created. You can see the overlay, red overlay is where exactly has been maxed out. So you can fine tune the adjustment. If the select subject leaves any part out, you just fine tune it by using your brush. Now create another layer. This other layer you are creating is a background layer. So we rename it BJ background. Then you rename this top layer SBG like for subject. Now hold control on your keyboard and then click on the layer max to create this selection. You make sure you are on the background layer, then go to select and go to modify expand now expand by 15 pixels you can use 15 5 just use 15 pixels and see the expansion rate you see that the selection has been expanded slightly from the background now we'll fill up the subject by going to content content aware fill okay now you wait for it to, to load and the subject will be removed from the background layer completely Turn off the top layer, which is the subject layer, to see exactly what has happened. Now, deselect the selection by going to select the select. And you can see the subject is completely gone from the background. Now, to be easier for us to apply this effect, go to Blur Gallery and go to Field Blur. Now, Field Blur has different anchor points you can add to different portion of the image to apply different amount of blow so the sky is the farthest point from the subject so meaning it should be the most blurred out part so this point here you increase the blow increase the blow radius now create another point which is closer to the subject than the sky so at that point you increase the blow not up to the amount of blow you added to the sky you can see the sense here we are trying to simulate what an actual lens would do how an actual lens will blow this and photoshop will do a very great job as we assist it to find exactly where to blow now you can move the point here and there to get the right position for the blow Click on OK and wait for it to load. At this point, you can like the video if you haven't already and subscribe also. You can see the background is blurred out. So turn on the subject and see how it's being separated from the background. And now the image is looking like it was blurred from camera. This is the most realistic way of blurring your images. You can check the description for very helpful resources like lots presets and any other photography skill you need thanks for watching see you in another amazing video